Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm finally sharing with you, I've filmed this video like twice before, um, what is in my bag for my internship. So I am, if you're new here, I'm Anna May and I just moved to New York. <laughs> have a cough from the pollution because I just moved to New York City for five months slash six months and um, I'm interning at the United Nations which I will have some videos up about mostly like coming towards the end of the experience and everything but I'm also writing some blog posts now to post later about that whole experience but today I'm going to show you what I keep in my bag this is a Tory Burch bag i cannot remember exactly the name of it but i'll maybe link it down below or i'll write the full name of it uh, it's one of the kind of classic styles and it's kind of a review of this bag as well um because i kind of got it for the part of a graduation present and i kind of got it for the purpose of work so i guess we'll just jump right in so as you can tell this bag has like two little short handles which i do use quite a bit as well as a long strap which i also use i honestly would say i use the straps like 50 50. the only thing is i am kind of on the hunt for like a replacement faux kind of strap um that would be maybe about that length uh, just like a gold chain one or something because i'm quite short and I don't like when bags are super long and this is at the shortest it can be so I could like get a belt hole puncher thing and make the strap shorter but I just feel like it's a better idea to look for something different so just to shorten the strap so I could still have it over my shoulder um because these little handles are like just for holding you could kind of get it yeah you can have it on the crook of your arm either but and obviously these straps are removable so at the front of this bag there's the pocket there's one at the front and one at the back i typically don't use the one at the back for anything but the one at the front is where i keep my metro card for really quick and easy access because you don't want to be that person who's like fumbling around trying to find the metro card you just try to get on the subway so that's always where i keep my metro card and it's like the only thing i keep in here because i have the two pockets if i wanted another space like that as well I probably should have shown this before. This bag has like three compartments and I have these unzipped already, which I'll talk about why. Um, and it has two interior pockets on this side and then one large one on that side. And it's really roomy, to be honest. It's a very roomy bag. So I do not keep anything valuable in the middle pocket just because I don't want to get pickpocketed. Uh, it's just one of those things I really try and avoid in life and you know there's only so much you can try and avoid it so I just it's like just trying to lower my risk uh, I'm sorry if my voice keeps sounding like a sheep I'm genuinely like I reacted so badly to the air here that I've had a cough since I arrived which is great but I keep the pocket the two pockets are where I keep anything valuable so in the back pocket the one closest to me basically things are ranked in order of like how i store them is in order of like it's ranked as to how important each thing is so so in the back zipper pocket the one that's typically closest to you i have phones so i'm i look like like a criminal or something but i have two phones for <laughs> the purpose of one is an american phone it was an unlocked one that I got with a US SIM that I have with my visa kind of program and I use that kind of for work stuff when I need an American number and then this is my normal phone and I'm really glad because I'll maybe explain my whole visa situation another time but I'm probably gonna like move home at the end of the five months instead of staying here for the full year so I'm really glad I didn't transfer everything over um, and I still have my Irish phone on the go so those two are in here zipped up very safe and i was saying the reason i had left these open was because one thing that i have to say about this bag is that i love it like the hardware is super like quality like it's chunky it looks good but like it's gonna ruin your nails so my thumbnail and a lot of my nails will literally be broken by these zippers which is pretty annoying i have another bag that does it as well my nails are also quite brittle so not going to blame it all on the bag but 
that is one thing that really bothers me. Uh, in the other one, the one closer to the front, is where I keep whatever purse I'm using at that time. Um, and also, I gotta cover this up. Also, my ID for the UN. So we have to have like ID on us, like worn around our neck at all times when we're in the building because of the we're associates and whatever. And um, yeah, like to get through most doors and stuff like that. So those are like the really important things. So that's really as far as the two like closed pockets, the safe area of the bag. Then in the large middle pocket, all the like little interior pockets I don't use for anything specific honestly. Everything just gets like put in there somewhere. So the number one thing that I keep in here like basically no matter what the weather is a reusable shopping bag in case I need to grab anything on the way home or anything like that. Um, I never want an excuse to have to use a plastic bag. So I always keep a little like this is super super light um, reusable cotton shopping bag um, as well as that I have some why do I like hoard the products in the bag anybody else um, I have this lipstick from Essence like really easy throw on stuff uh, this I believe is from NYX yeah lip gloss and then uh, this is Dr. Bronner's peppermint lip balm it's amazing 10 out of 10 would recommend it's like really refreshing because you know if you're like sitting in an office sometimes you want something refreshing so this it actually works it tastes nice like because sometimes when they, I know it's good for lip balms to have SPF but I'm gonna be honest I've never sunburned my lips and I've basically sunburned every other area of my body including the soles of my feet so like don't tell me that like that's the most dangerous place so I never get lip balms with SPF because they taste disgusting this is so nice also speaking of things that are refreshing I always carry hand sanitizer in my bag as well just these cute little Bath and Body Works ones um, I love them and yeah they smell super strong but every, we are, have our like little kind of converted conference room for the interns like for, like a war table and um, everybody loves the smell of them so I switch it up every once in a while um, just something nice to like midday refresher you know I also have plasters because shoes might give you blisters and that's basically it I always get cuts on my ankles so that is all I really keep in here I try to keep it kind of minimal um, I do have the space in here as well for like a hat or gloves or something like that if I think it's gonna be colder when I'm coming back from work so I can always throw it in there and I also one thing I completely forgot is my water bottle so this water bottle is technically it's Contigo I think so I say it's technically a kids one but I got it for the size you can see that it's smaller because it fits in here nicely it just kind of sticks out and most of the time it's like that so you can't even see it when I'm carrying it um, on my way to work so I always bring my own reusable water bottle because hydrate or dehydrate and um, I'm definitely not going to be buying any plastic single-use water bottles so I'm actually going to be doing a video pretty soon on like the most basic of basic sustainable things that you can purchase um, just like the absolute basic level things if you want to just start making those little changes in being more sustainable so that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed if you have any questions about this bag or anything else like that let me know in the comments below um you can find me on instagram at anime.yt and i will see you in my next video